Have you ever wondered how a smartphone would perform on a whale watch or maybe a snorkel trip? Stick around, I'll show you. We're coming up. Aloha, I'm Steve. Thank you for joining me. Today is a beautiful Sunday morning, February 23rd, I believe, whale watching season. And I'm going out with a friend of mine named Captain Steve. It's actually Captain Steve's rafting. I've been going out with him for many years. But I'm taking my smartphone, my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, and see exactly how it performs out on a whale watch. And I wanna give you some tips and tricks and also some suggestions, all that kind of stuff on how to use a smartphone on a whale watch or really a snorkel trip or any sporting event or anything you're doing here on Maui. So come on folks, let's go right now. Captain Steve, and here's my first tip, but it's up to you. I go out on the second whale watch. My thinking having been out many, many times on different whale watch tours is the first one you spend 15 20 minutes sometimes longer looking for your first whale if you go out on the second one a little bit more expensive than what the 730 i'm on the 945 a little bit more money but you know what captain steve has been out there showing them whales and then had to say oh we got to go in everybody moans and groans so as soon as he picks me up and the others in the rubber zodiac we go right back out where the whales are just a suggestion. Here's a tip or a suggestion. I have a tiny little gorilla pod, cost me about 10 bucks on Amazon, free shipping of course. And you know, I'm going to put on top of here the mount for my cell phone and I'll take uh, a video of that and show you here in just a minute. That way I can hold like this and hopefully gain a little bit more stability. I don't want a whole lot of shaking. Matt right back here is going to go under. You guys are on the cane fire too, okay? A couple things about the boat here before we get going. Uh, first off, cane fire two is both certified and inspected by United States Coast Guard. If you don't have a battery pack, power pack with you, watch your battery. Generally speaking, the second half of the whale watch is generally the best. Maybe the second hour than the first. Watch your battery. You don't want to get through the first hour and you're down to 30 or 40 percent for the second hour. So be aware of your battery. Another tip is about angles, and this is tough, especially on the rubber Zodiac. You're sitting there, people on both sides. You really can't shift it around, get up, go to the other side like you can on a bigger boat like Pacific Whale. So try and work the angles that you can and be aware of where the sun is. It's ideal if the sun is pounding on your neck. So if you need to tilt it a little bit more one way or the other, to keep that glare off of the ocean, just work it a little bit and be aware of angles. Like the topic of angles, lighting is just super important, especially with a smartphone. Not much I can tell you here because you're kind of at the mercy of the driver of the boat, the captain. And so, sometimes you may be looking at a beautiful whale and it's horrible glare because you're looking right into the sun. Not much you can do about it except to play with some angles. Play a little bit with angles, like I said earlier, and try and keep the lighting, which shouldn't be a problem early in the morning, especially if you go out at 7.30. Try not to pick up too much glare.
I know you're asking, what about zooming? Well, my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus has a zoom on it, which I will use. What I never use is the finger zoom, is what I call it. I'm not sure what the technical term is, but using your finger to zoom in and out. When you zoom in, you have got to be steady. The least amount of shake or vibration when you're zoomed all the way out on your cell phone is going to give you a really blurry, shaky image. By now, whether you're using an Apple product or an Android smartphone, you probably have got 8 megapixels or more. My Samsung is loaded. I think it's 12 or 14 megapixels. That means you can crop and zoom. So most video editing software, even the very basic photo editing software, allows you to zoom in on a whale tail and crop it. So, if you're shooting a picture or a video and the object, that old whale, is way out there, don't worry about it. I'll show you some pictures where I actually had to crop and zoom. It looks like the whale was right next to the boat, but it was actually pretty far out. With a lot of megapixels, you can crop and zoom and make it look really good. February whale watching. Uh, there were at least ten. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna uh, start jamming back now. So I'm gonna have everybody grab a seat for me here, and we're gonna do cool stuff right as we leave. Uh, we got a little tip box here. It's sitting underneath our octopus if you feel like throwing anything. All in there. the pictures you see today are from this whale watch with Captain Steve's rafting. Hey, thank you for watching. Man, that was an awesome whale watch with Captain Steve's rafting. Hey, and I also, I, I hope you picked up a few tips, tricks, suggestions, whatever to help your trip. And let me tell you, this gorilla pod holding my camera. Oh man, I tell you, for a total of $20, $25, I'm holding it right now is the best investment you can make. Hey, like always, please subscribe, leave some comments below, hit the like button, ring the bell, guys, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Thank you.